between those two nations is one of the biggest in Olympic style boxing. Our next contest is between boxers from Jordan and Cuba. There is Zayad Ashesh, part of the Ashesh fighting family with Ashesh Ashesh and his brother who was in action this morning. The younger Ashesh operating in one of the lower weight classes at 51 kilograms. We see the five scoring judges presiding over this one. Mr. Cham Dunar of the Netherlands is our referee. So there, the record of Jorge Cuellar. Unanimous points decision victories in his two most recent encounters. Inside the distance stoppage over Ronald Chavez of the Philippines. 4-1 split decision victory in the round prior to that for Ashesh. And you can see the attitude emanating <laughs> from Zayad Ashesh. That's how he goes about his business. Taifa Ashesh was in action this morning at 51. He was outpointed by a man from the United States of America, Roscoe Hill. Here, Zayad Ashesh looking to become a two-time Olympian or at least take a step closer to that objective. Lost in the first preliminary round to Mervyn Clare of Mauritius in Tokyo at 69 kilograms. Comes to the ring. Participating in the World Championships, he too was at the Asian Games in Hongzhou in China. Ninth place finish, losing to Japan, Seiwon Okazawa. He booked his place for the Olympic Games at that first continental opportunity. A taller figure, wearing the fluorescent orange boots, is Jorge Cuellar of Cuba. Competed in the World Championships last summer, losing to India's Nishant Dev at the quarter-final stage at 71 kilograms. Steering punches from on top of the logo, being pushed out by Cuellar. Beautiful jab, and he celebrates that by just going for a little shoulder shimmy. Skip backwards, Cuellar. And that's so characteristic of Cuban boxing. They celebrate their successes. And there's another left-right combination with a little showboating shimmy backwards. But then here comes the marauding, Ze marauding Zayad Hashesh. He will look to turn any boxing match into a street fight. Oh. Beautiful right hand catches Hashesh as he is coming in. But he will not stop coming all night long. There he scores with a good left jab to the body. Yeah, Shesh is doing well there to, to keep himself in this fight. Walking his man down, moving forward, using that head movement, but just getting caught by the Cuban there on the way in and the counter. I was ringside commentating. He beat a man who is a two-time Olympic champion, Ronnie El Iglesias, in the first round. There was a clash of heads. A cut opened up, and it must have been inside a minute and a half, and so the judges were tasked with scoring around 70 seconds of boxing. Wow. And they all favoured Zayad Hoshesh and the two-time Olympic champ, Ronnie El Iglesias, the compatriot of Jorge Cuellar, eliminated in that global event. But Hoshesh, as you saw from the stare down, doesn't really have any love or indeed respect for his opponents. Once that bell sounds, he is as rugged as they come and will look to turn every contest into a back alley brawl. Good work to the body from Ashesh. Cuellar looking to re-establish his straights, but Ashesh on his chest and answering back immediately. Yes. The Cuban needs to be careful here because they have this, this evening and some part of this afternoon being favouring the come-forward fighter, and Ashesh has not stopped coming forward and throwing shots this whole first, first round. Cuellar in territory where he doesn't want to be. The clinch ensues to conclude the opening round. This man producing eye-catching quality. Zayad Hashesh taking it on a 3-2 split. And just as Nicola Adams, two-time Olympic champion, was pointing out the come-forward aggression of Zayad Hashesh preferred to the accurate, crisp counter-punch picking of Jorge Cuellar. Some of the action from that first round. Yeah, Ashesh did really well there, coming forward, didn't stop throwing punches, kept, kept backing his man onto the ropes. 
punches to the body, then coming back up to the head. The the Cuban just wasn't just wasn't doing doing enough for me there. I think he's he's going to have to come out into this second round for a few more punches. He can't afford to just sit back and counter punch the whole way through this second round. So into the second round we go then. The first round was incredibly tight and has a beautiful double jab from the shorter boxer Zayad Ashesh, Tokyo Olympian, and look at him work the rib cage of Cuellar. Cuellar covering up, looks to counter with a jab, but the busier boxer oh. is the man in red, who again is letting his hands go in furious fashion oh. from all angles. But how about that for a classic combination from Cuellar? But Ashesh comes forward, almost disregarding the punches that he's taking, scored effectively to the body, and then was looking for shots upstairs. Picked off by a single by Cuellar. Blistering first 30 seconds of this second round. Ashesh is boxing really well there on the inside. And like you said, he gets caught with one or two, and he comes straight back in. Nice head movement from Ashesh, but he couldn't avoid the right uppercut. Cuellar keeping the attack going, but Ashesh answers back with a salvo of punches to the body. I think this... This match really is going to come down to who's got the most in the tank here because both men are throwing and Ashesh is coming off better in these exchanges. Well, it's almost you have a go, I have a go. There's a right uppercut followed by a left jab from Ashesh, but Cuellar keeping the straight shots going. Turns underneath a classy uppercut, reciprocated immediately by Ashesh. Now we've got an accidental clash of heads. Referee speaking to both boxes about keeping their head up on the resumption. It's a burst of punches without reply from Ashesh. Beautiful right uppercut to punctuate that exchange where it was first and third boxing oh. from Ashesh and then a right hand from the man in red after Cuellar had success of his own. But the busier boxer is the more compact man wearing red. Flashing left hook catches Cuellar. Cuellar comes back with a right hook left hook of his own. But for my money, he's fighting right in the wheelhouse of the rugged Zayad Ashesh who will stand here and trade leather all night night long if required. Yeah, the Cuban can't afford to just stand there and trade with Ashesh as he's doing now. He needs to use that long reach he's got. Or if he is going to be on the inside, like his, like his coaches are saying, he needs to be throwing those uppercuts and the hooks and the body shots. And Cuellar, credit to him, is trying to unfurl those longer arms. But in this type of territory, he's coming out second best in the trade-off for me. There he gets onto the front foot, bringing a momentary pause to the walk of Ashesh. But then Ashesh letting go that right hand once again. Cuellar forced backwards. Another trade-off ensues on top of the logo at centre ring. And it's Ashesh who gets the better of it. While Cuellar has been outworked in this second round, he really is competing with all he has. But I think he's got the tactics wrong. He conceded the opening round with his counter-punching and his patient punch-picking and in trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hashesh, I think he's coming out second best because Hashesh is not really concerned with accuracy but he's throwing such volume that a proportion of the punches are getting through and I think that is enough for him to be ahead in this round. But how will the judges see it inside the final 10 seconds? Classy left uppercut to conclude the round from Cuellar, but I think he's been outscored in that second stanza. What say the five scoring judges? So Ashesh leads 20 points to 18 for two judges. Cuellar leads 20 points to 18 for judge number one. Judges two and four have it 19 points apiece. It has all come down to the final three minutes. Crucially, Ashesh only needs to convince one of judges two or four that he boss, will boss the final round. Cuellar's got to convince both of them. It's going to be really interesting going into this last and final round. I think the Cuban needs to change his tactics a little bit here. It doesn't suit him to fight in, in close range with Ashesh. Ashesh is coming off a lot better on the inside, throwing those, shoving those body shots in and then moving around and moving away. But it's all come down to this last round. round. It's any man's game here. So into the third and final round we go. Both boxers out to centre ring immediately and they resume their close quarter encounter. Toe to toe, chest to chest. Cuellar trying to establish straight punches, looking to push his man back. And it's been a brilliant spot start by the Cuban boxer wearing blue. But back comes Ashesh with a burst of punches to the head and body. Cuellar countering immediately. A fantastic response from the Cuban boxer who then takes a left uppercut from Ashesh. Torrid two-way action in the first 30 seconds of this final round. Beautiful work from both fighters there, both working hard, both throwing shots. 
It's the referee telling them both to keep their heads up there. Sesh back into the mix with an overhand right, but he was inaccurate with the shot, it went long. But that only brings the talking to in the direction of Cuellar about keeping his head up. Cuellar lands with a long raking right cross on the resumption. Again, Sesh not particularly accurate. Hitting during the instructions <laughs> was Cuellar. And again, you saw the intensity and attitude emanating from Sesh during the stare down. One of those boxers who seems to well up a dislike for his opponent, but oh. Cuellar peppering oh. his man with straight punches. Look at the response that brings about from Ashesh. Roundhouse right, missed by some distance. Ashesh looking to tie his man up on the inside. Cuellar looking to push him off and re-establish the range for his own shots. Swing and a miss with a left uppercut from the Cuban boxer. Double left hand from Ashesh. And now Ashesh seems to be feel, appears to be feeling the pace to me. It seems to be him who is looking to initiate clinches, but there is a classy moment of boxing and marauding front foot pressure from Ashesh, but look at that, then he ties his man up to kill the clock. Clever piece of action because it was offense without reply from Ashesh as we approach the minute to go mark in this final round. Cuellar started the round magnificently. Ashesh has enjoyed a good previous 30 seconds or so. Ashesh with his hands down, and again, he's so effective at giving the impression of looking to make the contest. But look at how he was clinging on, on the blind side of the ref. Cuellar trying to get classic combinations away. Two shots to the body, followed by a right uppercut from Ashesh. Terrific portion of the round for him. Cuellar inaccurate with his left, right. Final 30 seconds of this contest. One, two success for Ashesh again. Beautiful work from both fighters. One's landing, then the other one lands, and then the other one comes back. Remember, Hachesh leads 20 points to 18 for two judges as he slams in a left hook to the body, drawing the instructions from the referee. As Ricky Hatton, former two-weight world fond champion, is fond of saying, it's not a tickling contest. And Hachesh hunting the body effectively. Effective defence upstairs from Cuellar. But this storming conclusion to the final round from Ashesh oh. could well be enough to edge him over the line. Cuellar started the third and final round brilliantly. Zayad Hashesh concluded it strongly. Remember, he leads 20 points to 18 for two of the five judges. Cuellar leads 20 points to 18 for one judge. We had two tied scores of 19 points apiece. It's likely to be a split decision verdict. What will the judges prefer in that third and final round? The strong start of Cuellar or the storming conclusion of Hashesh? I happen to think Hashesh's aggression will be enough to edge him over the line, but it's incredibly close. And remember, judges from different regions will have different tastes. Some will prefer the work of the Cuban, some the aggressor. And there is confirmation of a split decision victory for Zayad Hashesh of Jordan. A 4-1 split decision victor over Cuba's talented Jorge Cuellar, the world championship quarter-finalist from the edition in Tashkent last summer. Edged out on a 4-1 split in a contest that was in the balance and up for grabs with three minutes remaining. Credit to this man's character and his composure because Cuellar started the final round beautifully, but he kept his concentration, stuck to the plan and finished in barnstorming fashion. And that is how he has had his ra hand raised as a 4-1 split decision victor. What a contest to conclude this 21st session of boxing. Beautiful boxing there from Ashesh. He just did not stop working the whole way through from the first bell in the first round to the last bell in the third round. Great work. And here's the scores. So Zad Ashesh taking the final round across the board. His strong conclusion, enough to impress all five of the judges and eradicate the strong start made by Jorge Cuellar, wasn't able to maintain it, and Zayad Ashesh, he too was feeling the pace in the closing stages.